Hello, my name is Jackie and today we are going to go over clipping in the EDO Designer. So what clipping an image does is it removes the background from the image, so it just isolates what's in the foreground. So today I'm going to clip this image on my screen and once I selected a photo that I would like to clip and place it on the page. I'm just going to click on it to make sure that it's selected and this quick menu will pop up and I'm going to select clip from that menu. Now once the clipping menu has loaded you'll see your image is now on the left and right side of your screen. The most important tools that you're going to use are in the upper left hand corner and this circle green tool is what you want to keep in the photo. So I'm just going to select what I want to keep in the photo with the green tool. And then you also have this red remove tool and that's going to take out the parts of the image that you do not want to keep. So I'm just going to go in and use that tool. If I want to be more precise, I can just use my scroll bar or my mouse to zoom in on the image. And you can see on the left how my image is being clipped. Now if I want, you can see that the hair is a little jagged looking, which isn't great. So if you go to the bottom toolbar, there's a button that says hair. and I'm going to um, just clean up that hairline so it's not so dragged. So what you do first is you select what's going to be in your foreground. Again, what you're going to keep. Um, so I just want anything that's my hair color. And then I'm also going to indicate what would be in the background that we wouldn't want to keep. And I'm going to select this number one hairbrush tool. And then I'm just going to go in on my hair. And it just makes it look a little softer and has a little bit of a softer blend. And I'm just going to go in and play around with how everything looks. If I want to erase something, I'm going to use this eraser key. And that will kind of just erase some of the marks that I had made. If I want to erase the hair tool, I have to use the hair tool eraser. Go. So I'm going to play around with this for a little bit and get something that looks nice and clipped and then I will show you what is next. Okay, once I have my image clipped, I am going to click the done button in the upper right hand corner of the left panel where you made all your image edits. Once I click done, you'll see that it is now clipped on my page and I can kind of resize it, play around with it. I'll just drop a background in there to show you that there's no white spaces, this image is completely clipped out. And that's it, that's pretty much the extent of clipping. You can edit and clip a image as much as you want. So I can always go back in and make more edits to this image. Thank you so much for watching and look out for more videos.